Hey boys and girls, today you are going to be painting this winter barn. So to get started, you're gonna get your watercolor paper and you're gonna hold it landscape, which means it's wider side to side than it is up and down. And you're gonna start with your red watercolored pencil. So to get started, um, you don't wanna be right in the middle. You wanna be a little bit to the left. You're just gonna draw a thin rectangle that's taller than it is wide. Okay, and once you have that, you're gonna draw a really long rectangle that is wider than it is tall, and it's gonna go all the way off your paper, just like that. And go back and darken these. And from here, you're gonna extend this line in the middle here up just a little bit. And then at an angle, you're gonna go up maybe about an inch or so. And then from here, you're gonna go straight up, but at an angle again. And then one more time, just like that. So you're getting that barn shape, so it's down and then you kind of change the angle a little bit. So you go from a wider angle to a more narrow angle. And then same thing here, we're gonna just go straight down like that. And then all you're gonna do is connect over here. Okay, so once you have this done, you're actually going to color everything in. Um, I just wanted you to draw the lines first because you're gonna, that way you know where to put your white paint. Um, but you're actually gonna color everything in red first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so if you notice, I colored it in pretty dark, and you want to do that when you use the watercolor pencils because when you get your cup of water, which you're going to do next, you're going to wet your paintbrush, and I still got some white paint on there. I really got to clean it. You guys should be starting with a clean paintbrush, so no worries there. You're going to just spread it across, making sure that you're staying within those lines that you just drew because if I drag my paintbrush across, I'm going to have a big red streak all over my paper. So you're just kind of spreading the paint around in that area and that just gives it a smoother look. So I'm gonna finish that. All right, once that's colored in, we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna get our black watercolor pencil. And you're gonna start um, not quite at the base of your paper, maybe about like the length of that sharpened part. Right about from there up to about the middle of your paper, you're gonna draw a tree trunk. So just like that and you're gonna color it in black. And be careful not to stick your hand in the paint like I did. <laughs> um, and then from here, once this is colored in, you're going to add in some tree branches. So you're going to go up and to the side, but you're never drawing like a perfectly straight line. Okay, so I'm going to go out to the side, just branching off. And then once I'm done with a few of them, I'm going to go back and thicken some of them. So they're like thicker branches, maybe every other one or so. And then I'm gonna go and add on some smaller branches onto each one. And I really wanna make sure that I fill up my tree. All right, so I've thickened and darkened up and added more tree branches until I feel like it was totally full. And then what we're gonna do is just add in a little bit of shading here. It's not gonna be a straight line, but you're going out from the bottom of the tree, just out to maybe about the middle of the house there, just like that. And then back here, we're gonna draw some tall grass. So you're just gonna take your pencil, draw on a straight line. I'm starting at the bottom and just wisping my way up. I'm gonna to go to about half the barn there. And I'm gonna fill up this space with black lines. And we're gonna add in the fence. So now you're gonna do three lines. You're gonna start here, space them out about the length of the, the side of the pencil there that's sharpened. And then you're gonna extend it over to the farm, farmhouse, barn should say. And then you're just going to draw a black line to connect them up here. And this, this one should be a little bit thicker. Just like that. Okay. Now you're ready to get your paintbrush again. Um, make sure you clean it off really well this time so there's no red left on there. Um, and you're going to get some water and now you're just going to blend it. Okay. So when you're doing, when you're blending these, you really want to make sure that you are smoothing everything out and not leaving any bubbles or dots because those black dots that are happening right now, if I just left them there, they would stay like that. So I'm gonna make sure to push them off of my paper and you're gonna go all the way across your tree and this is just gonna kind of give you like a cloudy background look. So you're gonna do this all over here, all across the tree and across the fence. All right, and then you're gonna paint up, painting the tree, the trunk of the tree so that it's really filled in solid black, not going side to side. And I'm gonna rinse my brush a little bit here because I don't want the shading to get too dark, but I'm gonna just shade this in, just like that. 
Okay, and now we're ready for our tempera paints. You wanna make sure before you get your paint that you dry off your brush really well. Um, and you're gonna start in the dry section and all you're gonna do is just paint the bottom here white. And you're gonna go over top of that area that you kind of shaded with the watercolor there. So you're gonna fill all this in underneath the tree as well. And then you're gonna get your white paint and at the tops of these branches, you're just gonna paint some white lines as if like the snow just kind of rested on there. So I'm trying to remain at the top of the branches. You don't have to do every single one, but you just wanna fill up your tree. All right, and once you're done with that, you're gonna add on some snow onto the top of these fence lines. So I'm just doing lines of paint, making sure not to go over top of that black line. So I did a little bit over here. If you do end up drawing over top of it, um, you can just get your, your black pencil and just kind of re-sketch re them out. That's fine. Now we're gonna outline the barn with the white. So where hopefully you don't have too much paint there um, from the watercolors you're going to paint over here. Um, if it's still wet or if you don't have enough paint on your paintbrush, you're going to see the red through there. So if you see like, if I really press down, you can see that pink kind of coming through. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but it is. Um, I'm just going to add more paint. Okay. So again, it's when you're painting with this kind of thing, sometimes you have to add on paint that's like super thick. You're like caking it on there and that's okay. And especially with the snow painting, um, that kind of gives it some texture. So that is 100% okay. It'll actually make your picture look more pretty and snowy. And you're also gonna add some snow on the bottom here just to make sure that line, that snow's going over top of that red line there. And you can see it's it blends a little bit and that's okay. All right, now once you're done with that, you're gonna add in your window up top here. So you're just gonna draw square or rectangle whatever fits best for you and then you're just drawing an x, or you're painting an x right through it and then you're going to do doors so these are just going to be bigger we're going to do two so i'm doing a long rectangle i'm going to split it in the middle and add an x in each one and then over here remember how we drew that rectangle in the beginning you're going to kind of remember where that was drawing that line. And then we're gonna draw a line that goes straight across, just like that ledge. And I'm gonna go back through and add more paint over top of these lines where it's showing through the red. But it does help to get it down on the paper first and then go back and retrace it instead of trying to retrace it right away um, because that way it won't mix in as well. So I'm gonna finish that. All right, so now I've gone back and I've touched up um, all the white paint to kind of cover up all that red. And I could probably go back some more um, if I really wanted to make sure it was perfect, but you would need to give it a little bit of time to dry. Um, but when you're all done, it'll go on the drying rack. I hope you guys have fun with this.